Hello friends and welcome back to Swift Lessons for another music theory tutorial. In today's session I'm going to be teaching you about augmented chords, how they're built using the major scale, and also how they can be used in composition. I got a full PDF study guide to help you with your practice at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. I invite you to become a member there to gain access to a ton of extra resources for all my popular YouTube guitar lessons. Now let's get started. Okay, close look at the fretboard, getting started with section one of this lesson. Learning the C major scale in the open position. That's the scale that we're going to be using to build our augmented chord. So a little bit of background, the notes in and adjacent to the major scale are building blocks for chords. Each note within the scale receives a number from one to seven. So C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C can be called out by number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then back to one, where you can start yet another octave. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then back to one for another C note, the root. So those seven notes can be used in formulas that create different types of chord shapes. For example, if I just played the first, the third, and the fifth notes of that scale, I would end up with the chord C major. As you can see in your tab here, all of the notes that go into the C major chord are highlighted in yellow. So get that scale down. We have the third fret of the A string, C. Then on the D string, zero, two, three. Okay, then on the G string, 0, 2. And then on the B string, 0, 1 for that first octave. Okay, put that together and we have C, D, E, F, open G, A, open B, C. Then if you want to do another octave within this position, we've got, again, that first fret of the B string, going up to D on the third fret, open E, F on the first fret, and then there, the third fret of the high E string is G. And that completes just this position. If you wanted to go up to the next octave, you can go up to A, fifth fret, B, seventh fret, and then eight to get back to C. Okay, putting that all together, the C major scale in C position, also known as open position. Okay, excellent work everybody. Now we're jumping into section two, building the augmented harmony, that one, three, sharp, five harmony. So as seen in section one, the notes within the major scale can be harmonized to create basic chords like C major. But these notes can also be sharped and also flatted to achieve more exotic sounds. So to create an augmented chord, we must sharp the fifth scale interval of our major triad here, C major. Okay, and that fifth scale interval is gonna go up one half step. So let's find our five. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Right there, it's your open G string inside of that C major chord. So to sharp this note, we're going to take our index finger and bar it across the G string and the B string. Okay, it's gonna sound like this. Very intense, very exotic sound. Okay, just like that. Okay, so this is a uh, harmony that is rich in tension and also forces the listener to anticipate some kind of a resolution. Now, if we also augment the major scale, meaning raise its fifth scale interval up one half step, we end up with a scale that has a very exotic, almost Eastern sound. So check it out, it's gonna look and sound like this. If you look at the tablature here, you can see that I've highlighted the notes inside of this augmented chord shape. So augmenting the major scale, three, zero, two, three, one, two, zero, one, three, zero, one, four. All the fifth scale intervals sharped up one half step. Okay, very good everyone, moving right along into section three, using the augmented chords for blues. 
Now, augmented chords are great for creating a sense of tension in your music, and so they're often used at the end of a progression to set up a resolution back to the tonic, or the first chord in a given key. So one of the most popular applications for augmented chords is to use it as a substitute for the five chord in a given key. So we're gonna be using that C augmented chord. Okay, so here's how you might apply it to an F blues. Going through the entire progression, starting with the one chord, we'll make it F7. A one, two, three, four, B flat seven, two, three, four, back to the one, two, three, four, five, six, going back to the four chord, B flat, two, three, four, five, six, seven, F seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, to the five chord, C seven, Leave that one alone. B flat seven, two, and then here's the turnaround. The F seven, B flat, F seven, and C aug. Right there at the end of the progression, we threw that in there just to gain some tension, kind of throw the listener off balance, then let that cliff hang, and then that'll get you back to the beginning of the progression again. Okay, tremendous work everybody. Now we're jumping into our fourth and final section, learning how to use the augmented turnaround. So in my original work, I often use augmented chords as a means to reset a verse. Here's an example of a verse that I've written that contains two sets of stanzas, and the augmented five chord is positioned between them, so that way the listener expects this repetition. It's gonna sound like this. A one, two, three, four, one, two. I used to ride my inner ride on beneath the blazing sun. Now my heart has led me where it's bound. Taught in love that's just begun. Left my past lives on the Okay, so there you saw it, right in between. I threw in that augmented chord, again, throwing the audience off balance a little bit, creating some tension, and driving us back to the one chord, which is the easiest way to apply these very flavorful augmented chords. All right, friends, thanks so much for checking out this music theory tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I'd love to hear what you think, so please let me know down in the comments section down below. Big thanks to my supporters at patreon.com slash lessons. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. I hope you're enjoying the extra resources. Thanks, you guys. I've got many more lessons coming up, so keep checking back. Please subscribe. Please share. This is Robert Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.